So one of the most satisfying wickets of my career, maybe the most satisfying, was, was Joe Root up at the Gabba in the first test. Oh, hello, oh, the W here, is it? It is it now, and his cupboards want this review. Massive roar goes around the Gabba because Marrera Rasmus will change his decision. Before the test, we normally sit down as bowlers and, and go through some footage of the, the opposition and, and talk about I guess ways to get out batsmen, but also, all right, who's their big batsman that we need to really try and make a statement against? And and Joe Root was the obvious one for England. He was their captain. He was their highest ranked batsman, and he's had some some really good success the last couple of years, um, especially against Australia. One of our key things was, and still is, you got to start really well against the batsman. He's a very busy player, Joe Root. He's always on the lookout for runs. And just don't give them runs. You know, make them work hard for their first 10 or 20 runs. I felt like we started really well and, and the ball started to actually swing. Well, it's a very good leave. And as you'd expect, all of a sudden the Australians are, are up and about. The Cummins running in, that looked a bit quicker. Just remember running in hard, trying to bowl fast and, and trying to get the ball out swinging in. Australia most want Pat Cummins pounding in here against Joe Root. So our, our specific plan to Joe Root, we thought he he has sometimes a little bit of a weakness of getting across his front foot a little bit, and um, he's been our LBWs quite a few times in the past. And you now it's it's a it's a little bit of a weakness, but he's still one of the best batsmen in the world. Our plan was see if we can try and drag him across, and then maybe try and fire one in at the stumps, and hopefully, um, yeah, he doesn't see it coming or he's a little bit too late. You leave a meeting thinking these plans are great, and then once you get out on the field, you realise how, how good the batsmen always are. I think it was late in the day, but it was pretty cool, so um, still felt like I had a fair bit of energy, and um, yeah, felt like I could run in hard, and, and the ball was starting to swing, swing pretty nicely, so I think I bowled a couple of overs of outswing. He was really patient, leaving the ball, um, leaving the ball really well. I know when I'm batting, I'm, I'm still always pretty eager to hit the ball. If the ball's there, I'm going to try and hit it. And it's, it's just a game of cat and mouse, um, trying to get him to go and chase one. But he's patient enough, leaving, leaving, leaving. And then, yeah, after, after probably two or three overs of that, I thought, hang on, I feel like I'm controlling this ball really well. I'm going to try an in-swinger. And an in-swinger is a great ball when it comes off, but it's it's also pretty high risk. It's it's um, You've got to get your wrist in the perfect position. If you don't get it right, sometimes the ball feels like it floats out. Or it might go way down leg, and if it goes really wrong, it can go all the way down leg for four. And I just thought, okay, this is the time. He feels like you know, he's setting up for the outswinger, 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 and um, just fired in an inswinger, and fortunately it landed in the right spot. Yeah, I think it might have put him by surprise. We all went up for a big appeal, and. Maria Erasmus didn't give it out, I remember, and I thought, come on, Maria, it's out. Uh, Maria, then picks in line. Wicket's hitting. Uh, it's three reds. Maria will get you back on screen, I think you change your decision. Fortunately, we reviewed it and, um, yeah, hit the stump, so that was just, uh, as a fast bowler, it doesn't get any better than that. Setting up a batsman and the plan coming off it you know, happens about once every five years, so. Uh, I think you can tell by how elated we were, just how big a wicket that was and you know, what a good plan it was. Really fired up Australian team here. 